The last thing you want is to smash a married woman or a woman that's in a relationship with another man, meaning being a home wrecker. Being a home wrecker is not a good thing, fellas. I promise you. When that actually happens to you, it's not a good thing. Because understand that if you know that this particular person is married and you know that this particular person is in a relationship and you still continue to take on the act, that's that's disrespectful though, man. All right, YouTube, go ahead and hit the like button. Also, do not forget to subscribe to my page. Don't forget to subscribe to my Patreon for more exclusive content. First of all, YouTube, I truly apologize, man. I've been MIA. You know, I've been dealing with some things, some personal things. But I got a video on that matter very soon. Y'all you know, stay tuned. Gentlemen, I want to go ahead and talk about a particular topic that most guys will probably get mad at me when I mention this. May get mad at me, but will be like, man, Joe, you is right. Gentlemen. Stay away from married women or women in relationships. I think a lot of times we get ourselves involved with women. We get ourselves involved sexually with women. We get ourselves involved, you know, with women that of any circumstance because of our nature and who we are. But gentlemen, you must understand that when you mess with a married woman or anybody that is taken by somebody, you will face major consequences in the long run. You have to understand this, fellas. When a man marries a woman, that means he has a badge of honor. So a man that's willing to let another woman have his last name means a lot to that man. So the last thing you want is to smash a married woman or a woman that's in a relationship with another man, meaning being a home wrecker. Being a home wrecker is not a good thing, fellas. I promise you. When that actually happens to you, it's not a good thing. Because understand that if you know that this particular person is married and you know that this particular person is in a relationship and you still continue to take on the act, that's, that's disrespectful though, man. See, I'm big on perspective. I like to put myself in somebody else's shoes. I can only imagine if another dude was to do some things with my lady, knowing that I was in the picture, he knew I was in the picture. I mean, does although you don't know the guy personally, there's a certain respect level that you gotta have. You know what I'm saying? And I'm big on respect. I'm big on perspective, I'm big on respect, and I'm definitely big on karma. Like, I don't play with karma. Like, it's one thing if you're messing around with a woman, right? And you don't know that she's married or she doesn't I, doesn't tell you that she's married or she doesn't tell you that she's in a relationship. That's a different story itself. And that's something that happened to me on numerous occasions where I used to engage in sexual activity and I end up finding out she had a dude. So that's why, gentlemen, we have to we have to understand respect man, and, and, and boundaries. You know what I'm saying? Because if we don't respect ourselves, right, we're messing with somebody who's taken according to court by certificate that they're legally married. That's destroying somebody's home. When you're destroying somebody's home, that creates more complications, especially if they have children together, especially if they have kids together. That's a difficult situation itself. So, Jim, we got we to gotta have some self-respect, man. We got to self-respect and respect others. Treat others how we want to be treated. So when we're out here home wrecking and we're so proud of it, we're so happy about ruining somebody's relationship is not cool. I don't think it's cool. I think you were sent for that. Like, I can't fathom and deal with messing around with a woman that's married or has an emotional attachment with somebody. And trust me, I have married women approach me all the time. And the temptations is crazy because they be looking so good. But I have to understand my morals and my values and who I am as a person. And I cannot stand calm. I cannot deal with the calm because I'm, I'm a good dude. So and I'm, I'm big on perspective and I'm big on respect. Um, a lot of dudes may not, may not agree with this theory and my logic with this whole situation, but but trust me, fellas, I think long term with everything. I think long term. I think about, hmm, okay, if I have sex with this woman that's married and I ruin their family, what's going to happen with their with their housing situation? What's going to happen with their kid? What's going to happen with their family dynamic? Those are things I think about. And then what, what's going to happen with my morale? I'm going to go days thinking about, man, I really ruined a family. Trust me, fellas, it's not cool, man. This is really, truly not cool. So we got to take that into consideration. Man. We got to have some respect. We got to have boundaries. And you got to treat people how you want to be treated. And that's something that I learned over time. Like I said, there's many instances where women don't even tell you that they're either married or relationship. So many women don't do that, especially a woman that is with somebody just to be with somebody or she's married to somebody just to be married to somebody. But she's not going to tell you. She's not going to tell you because she's unhappy in her situation. So, gentlemen, that's why it's important to vet and do your research thoroughly so you don't get yourself caught up. You don't get yourself shot. See, the thing is, when you're wrecking a home, understand that that guy is emotional, emotionally attached to that woman. So, 
understand the consequences. He may shoot you. He may come after you. He may do something to harm you. And you have to be ready to rumble. Some A family member might come after you. You just never know. That's why it's so important to vet your woman, whether you're having fun with her or whether you're taking her serious. Because you got to think of long-term effects behind the action. He's willing to make her have his last name. Now, a lot of us guys are like, oh, man, whatever, man. I'm just trying to get it in, man. It's whatever for me. No, you got to think, man. You got to think long term. You got to protect yourself. A lot of the things that we do, it ain't worth the trouble. It ain't worth the aggravation. I'm going to tell you a quick story, man. I remember, um, you know, I was fooling around with this one girl one time. You know, as we're in the middle of foreplay and she's doing the thing, blah, blah, blah. I see her phone and I see baby. And I'm like, baby. And I stopped. I told her, like, hold on, hold on. You got a dude? Yeah, I did. Forget. I forgot to tell you I do have a boyfriend. You know what I did? I literally stopped her. I didn't care how, what state of mind or circumstance, whatever it was. I literally stopped her and I dropped her home. Literally stopped her and dropped her home. Because one thing I can't tolerate is disrespect another man. Although I don't know the guy, I didn't know the guy, I didn't know him personally. But the fact that she had the audacity to do that and then say, I forgot to tell you, I lost respect for her. She could potentially get me shot. She could potentially get me in trouble. Uh, Something, something that's not right. Something in the negative. That's why, gentlemen, we have to vet. We got to know. We got to find out. Do she ever do? Do the research. I promise you, especially in today's society, you can find just about anything right in society. But also, women are really good at keeping secrets, too. So we got to be careful with that, too. But again, gentlemen, please don't be a homewrecker. It ain't worth it, man. The worst thing in the world is ruining somebody or family. Gentlemen, go ahead and hit the like button. Also, do not forget to subscribe to my page.